So this is all new to me. I've collated eyewitness reports to triangulate the origin of the plagues. We'll tackle each one at its source. This city was missing for generations. Imagine the loot. Thanks. Wowie. A plague of murlocs are pouring forth from this ruined city. We need to get to the bottom of this. We've all trained for this. The wait, 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 what? More powerful and flexible than ever before. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What's this? What's... Let's head out to the desert, then. No, let's not. I just want to see. This is. Is there any kind of explanation? What's this? Okay. So we get our treasure. There's 300 HP. Interesting. Doesn't say why. I guess I only got one. Give a minion plus two plus two and spell damage plus two. Okay. It's a pretty tame treasure. Ooh, I like it. Okay. So he's a mix of rogue and mage. Bad guys. We'll have to fight our way through one nasty at a time. Give him Murlocs Rush. But costs two mana. Hmm. Ten HP. I think we just run him over. to keep the hat, but I know I probably shouldn't in this kind of scenario. Backstab is good enough. Oh, what? Well, what? I'll like invade each player's deck. I didn't even see that passive that we were getting. I guess we're doing the same thing that we did in the prior adventure. Playing this very greedy. Because I expect the worst. This is an ideal two if we combo it, right? Yeah. I'll just play Spell Slinger, or do I want to prep? This is what? Two. If we play this and it sticks, it's better. Probably be playing the Sorcerer's Apprentice instead, though. I'll just play one of these for the sake of keeping tempo. No, I'll be able to break all this. Okay. Unless he's dead. I don't think he is, though. No, not yet. Um, pretty close to dead, but he could have, like, War Leader or something. Five. Yeah, I don't. I don't think so. <laughs> that seems fine. He does have removal. Okay. That is bad order. <laughs> You've made a mistake. Should give us lethal. Oh no no no. What? What? Oh, he is the rush. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. All right. Should have it next turn. Cast when drawn. Summon random Murloc. 
random amount of Murlocs. That's spooky. All right. This one health and taunt looks pretty good. Don't really mind the upgrade, but kind of low on the minion count, which is kind of awkward. We have no legendary minions, so I'm not going to take that one. And if your turn transform a random flame minion to one, it costs one more. We have synergy in this deck, though. I think I like the titanic ring better. Just make our minions harder to kill. I've been learning a few new tricks. Magic, tricks. Magic trick isn't even offered, though. Bad marketing. <laughs> uh, this looks okay. I want to do Cthune. I mean, I guess the upside for Cthune is it's a minion bucket most of the time. This bucket's kind of anticlimactic, as is this one. So I guess we'll just do Cthune anyway. If it's a minion bucket, it'll have synergy with our treasure thing. It's just you. Redemption minion for each beast you control. Okay. It's only minions, so... As long as he's not doing, like, Swarm of Locusts, it shouldn't be all that impactful. And even if he did, it'd just be a bunch of locusts. It's not like they're doing the Hunter Hero Power or anything like that. Oh, we gotta do our emotes. Gotta make sure to do that. That's fine. Hey, it's a curve. Remember, these guys are bigger now. So the Murlocs are for every... Yep. Oh, wow. I tip my hat to you. Thank you. Mother of Murlocs! All right, I like them. Some pretty good emotes in there. Scary. Spooky scary. Um, yeah. Bees. But but that's not enough. <laughs> Game. Game no. Game why? Okay. <laughs> Let's see how many times we get Cthulhu bucket and it ends up being uh, another Cthulhu in the Rewards. Hopefully not. Okay, we didn't even get the Cthulhu bucket this time. Cutlass is interesting. I assume we're considered a mage, but it's not entirely clear. Seems kind of weird. Don't like it. This is interesting, and this is all spell-related stuff. With no minions. We want more minions in our buckets, so that's probably what we're going to get. So it's Flame Waker. Yeah. Alright. Sand Shark? Exclamation point, exclamation point. Better be a boss encounter at some point. Oh, got the book. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> it 
Seems like it shuffles three. Probably don't want to play that just yet. <laughs> I want to play that though. You wouldn't dare. How dare you? That's not even the right animation. You should be ashamed of yourself, game. Now, I could buff it for attack and whatnot, but I just want stats. Give me stats. It's a random minion anyways. Oh my god. Uh. Don't you dare. Don't do it. Okay. They do. They like my face. I think I'd rather cancel this one. Okay, it's not that. It could be the uh, AoE thing. I guess we'll just try to get as much face damage as we can out of this. Yeah, that's fine. He's at 6 HP. So There's a random amount of Murlocs, but we've gotten one every time. Random amount of Murlocs. Maybe we just got lucky. Hmm. Seems like it's one every time to me. Dang, I was hoping for lethal. Gang up. These are all mostly bad. I'll just take the one that does direct damage. So this is two. And I could stolen steal next turn. I think this is fine. I'm just going to slowly burn him down. I don't think he has healing. I like this one's style. The theming. Oh no. It's too powerful. Do they come back with the one health? They do. Okay. Alright. Should be fine. Can't play any of these. Guess we'll pick Doomhammer for the sake of getting through taunts. Something like that. Something like that. Wow, attack first. You're a dummy. This computer doesn't know how to use random effects. We will punish him. I could play this, but it could it could go horribly wrong. We'll give him a hat. Give him a minion. You can have a hat. And then you die. Die a horrible death. Okay, let's see. Start the game, draw this witch for the purpose card. That seems pretty good. Means of Wind Fury immune this turn. Blech. Summon seven Murlocs and give them rushed at the start of your next turn. Do it again. That's pretty stupid. Uh, seven Murlocs for seven mana is not bad. I feel like the lamp is just better, though. I need to draw it so you get a bigger hand. No, I'll take the lamp. Yep, very good. That's not bad. I don't want the combo guy. We don't have enough combo in this deck to justify that. I think the mana cyclone is just really nice. Perdition's blade's okay. Kind of a coin's okay, but we get like a much bigger whiff hand. You can't really whiff with these. I think this is better. What we got? Ah, it's one of these. Bizarre, Bob. You can't fool me, game. You better not have the same voice actor. Although it might be kind of funny if it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know how to do this.
You found me? Yeah, it's the same guy. Oh well. Just let me add it. Okay. Discover a spell, add it to your adventure deck. It always starts in your hand. Interesting. Discover a weapon from any class, add it to your adventure deck with plus two, plus two, and remove a friendly minion. So crazy. It just might work. I don't think I'm quite at the point of removing Cthune yet. Recruiting Sylvanas would be nice. It always starts in your hand. So it takes up one of the Mulgan spots. I just like the name. Just I think these two are interesting. Let's see what our weapon is first. So this is a bigger weapon. Gets plus two, plus two. So it means we get to swing with it two additional times as well. So this would be like a 4-4 four, four weapon for two mana. That seems pretty gross. I'll take that. All right, and then I'll take some else. Because Sylvanas with Taunt is pretty silly. These are all fine. Yeah, I, I'm not at the point where I want to get rid of Cthune just yet. We'll s maybe get punished for it for the sake of not getting the bucket anymore, but whatever. I don't really like it to your hand. That's it. Okay. It's basically a zoo warlock. I think we can beat zoo. Maru. Evil, eh? I hate these guys. Nah. Excuse me, you are not doing this. It's not a bad hand. We start with the wish to, so we get like a crazy, crazy mana cyclone start. Yeah, I'll take it. I wish we could have like made copies of mana cyclone. Would have been really nice. Here's our wish. Oh, surprise. Okay. So we don't play this. And then we use the hero power next turn. And then we play all that stuff with the cyclone. Wow. <laughs> I mean, at the very least, we're only getting small guys off of that. So I can't say there's no mercy for the computer. A weapon? It's not Kingsbane, I would think. What the heck is going on? I'll take it. It's Hunter, apparently. Maybe Eaglehorn Bow, then? I don't know. Okay. I think I'll just take power. Seems fun. Could take Mortal Coil for the sake of all this spell damage. That seems maybe even better, but we have so many minions on board, and power is just going to be better overall. Thank y'all. Alright. Get him. Echo of Medivh. Okay. Do you see it? Because I see it. I'm not going to do it, but... No mercy for our computer friends. They must die. Who are you? I have not even met this man before. Maybe he's the boss. Not lethal yet. Close though. Unfortunately this doesn't scale with spell damage. So I'm just going to play it safe. Are you my master? All right. If he can somehow kill me through this, I'd be very surprised. Just gets war leader. I'm very sad. No. 
Ah. No, okay. Looks like we're fine. Even if that is actually the evasion, it doesn't work because he dies to lethal. Alright. If it's betrayal, doesn't matter either. Get him. Nice. That's a bit expensive. That could, could be work. Could work. And... Could also work. Battle cry minions outside of those. I mean, they're not bad minions, so I kind of like it. The big spell thing kind of doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't really work. So the raven's basically just a 2-2. Two -two. Battle cry minions outside of that. We got the hats, Cthulhu stuff. It's actually most of our minions. Salinchin. It's basically Echo of Medivh with a 4-5. It's not bad. And then Shadow Caller. Can help us activate our Cthune or duplicate something like Sylvanas. Duplicating Sylvanas is pretty hot. Not always going to happen, but I'll take a a one-two taunt with an effect sometimes. Blast Wave, we're a pretty aggressive deck. I don't think Blast Wave is very good for us. And Ronin, although it is a good late game card, I think Shadowcaster is about the same. And Barista is definitely better than Blast Wave, so I'm, I'm gonna go for this. Comes with a 2 3 top minion, but that's no big deal. Do hero attacks at a random hunter card to your hand? Okay. He does not start with a weapon, then I am not scared. Oh, this is, um. This is the same guy from the previous. Fighting him on the other side. Yeah, it's all Black Guy. <laughs> I remember you. We're gonna be rich and save the world. Chosen to hunt you. I'm keeping some honest. Because I just want to. We got it. <laughs> Mother of Hilarious joke. <laughs> I completely get it. He doesn't get it. Uh, I think we'll wait. We don't need this. It's the same principle as the Wish in the Tavern Brawl. Oh, so you get a random home card for all these now? Spooky. All the more reason to wait. Gotcha. Take that one damage. Two can play at that game. Is that the secret he just discovered? Yeah. No, that was from a different spot, I think. Draw next to it. I think that might have been the random one. Not bad. Snipe? Okay. Okay. That's why we played that one. We at least get the weapon hit out of it. He's got another one. So much value. Oh my god. Alright, well, put Snipe again. Guess countered. Oh, that's interesting. I guess those do kind of spell here. It is actually Snipe again. Okay. So you can, um. You can win the Brawl more often. Flanking Strike. It's going to be really hard to outvalue him while he has all these weapons. He starts with basically an extra six cards in hand. He still doesn't have a secret this time. Do I need Sylvanas? I don't think we need Sylvanas right now. Yeah, I don't think we need that right now. Hounds. I'm thinking I'll wait for maybe 
like Tyrion. Okay, we got the full trades. This goes in here. Oh, nice. He doesn't have many minions in hand. Okay, never mind. Sylvanas? <laughs> Yoink mine now. All right, hold on. Do we have lethal? That's four. So this is six. Six plus 12 is 18 plus six is 24 plus two is 26. He's not dead. It's pretty close though. Probably get him next turn. Oh yeah, he's dead. <laughs> You've made a mistake. Unless I just can't play this because I don't have board space. You monsters don't do it. They did it. They actually did it. Fine. I guess I'll do it this way. Not nearly as fancy. To play him at no. And in turn, enemy minions cost one more. I think enemy minions costing one more, although it isn't particularly fancy, is the best one here. In your turn, transform is just asking for trouble, right? For like stuff like Sylvanas. Which we really, really do not want to transform. Summon a copy of Legendary only applies to three cards in this deck. I'm taking the glyph. It's always good. Cthulhu finally shows itself again. <laughs> Death Knight. The other cards kind of suck, though. And questionable. I'll take the old god stuff. The man is back. I can recruit some help here. All right. Oh, here we go. Oh, I could use a cold drink. Give me more Sylvanas, please. At all, I mean, you they cost one less. <laughs> I don't think that works. So switch a minion. Cost two more. They just rephrase. No, this is this is one we had before. Add three copies. Okay. Do you want three Sylvanases? I think we could use some value. And they're pretty insane in this deck. Three mana, two, four. That freezes every minion. I just think these are too heavy. And this does nothing. So I don't want to, like, delude my deck with crap like that. It's so crazy. It just might work. I really think I... Oh, we, we get this for free. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to do this one, so... Do I want a Tall Tales anything? Tall Tales, it's a 5-5 five, five for 3. It's not bad. It's actually 5-6 for 3 with Taunt. Could also do it on Spell Slinger. I think I'll do it on Cthulhu. 6-7. Really 4 mana. Six eight actually. Oh, Octa, sorry. 
there are eight or more minions on the battlefield, destroy them all. I don't think that'll apply to us too much, unless he's like swarming the board really hard. I can board control him. Unless he summons like locusts or something. Or like unleash the hounds. It's gonna be a, a weird balance if he can do stuff like that. Okay. So I can do Wish Cyclone. Looks like I can wait a turn. So it just activates it every turn he checks. It's zero mana. Bees? Okay. Get a whirlwind off of this. Or can explosion if we have that. Not sure if it'll understand. I want to set up for the Beckoner of Evil next turn. So I think I do want to do this now. be fan uh I could wait and just use this now backstab hit one and then fan plus this next turn don't think we need to use that right now I can use it for zero mana next turn when he has more. Is he dumb? He's dumb. <laughs> hey, there's our weapon. I kind of don't actually care about these. It's a good trade and I want him to do it. It's at the start of turn, so we have time to react, which is nice. All right, now I think I'll I'll do it. Not gonna respect it to start a turn. Unless he actually just gets it three times in a row. And then we're really sad. Okay, good. <laughs> Thankfully not. I don't mind giving him good trades since we want to have a minion. Oh, he's actually going to get it. <laughs> Alright, so I guess no board for anybody then. Boom, 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 boom. Ooh. Ooh. Spooky. Let's see how many Sylvanases it takes, I guess. Steal your mana. Oh wait, he just kills his own stuff. That seems counterintuitive. Ow. Oh, well. 
Oh, two now. Impressive. Switch, don't trade and go face. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is eight. If I go face, he trades in, we take one, he trades into that. I'm assuming he's going to play a minion. Let none survive. One, two, three. Take one, trade. It's a clear board. If I take one, then we just take his last two, two. Which is whatever. So I don't think we care. Oh. Looks like we're resetting and taking nothing. So I just play a minion and everything dies? Okay. Your turn, sir. If only he had self-control. Be able to kill him with Cthulhu next turn, I'd think. Oh. You were a B short there, buddy. Guess it didn't particularly matter. I was going to say, I really hope it hits the 4 health, but it did not get unlucky. He's just going to get it and clear everything. Oh no. Slowly burn him down. Scary. There's been a lot of Murlocs in here. Like, more than I would expect. Summon? <laughs> oh, you silly man, you. You're a silly man. Let's make magic. I was hoping one of them hit face. I think it's pretty likely we got him then. Even with all this crazy stuff. <laughs> Play one minion, he kills himself. Why? Why would you do that? <laughs> You're so funny, computer. It's got more armor. Could maybe heal through that. That is not the right play. You would definitely want to play more. Now. He tried. Is 
Seems like this is the best one. Do you want damage to a minion and one gain one bonus damage? Wait, what? If it dies, lose all bonus damage. Okay, so you deal one damage to a minion. If you don't kill it, you get a prep damage for the next minion you hit. And the one time you do actually kill something, you reset the counter. Okay, that makes sense. Oh. Hmm. That's awkward. I'm a human. I tip my hat to this blaze of fear only enhance the chase. It's a lot of plague. Starts with three mana, apparently. This city is ours. Keeps on telling me that. I still don't believe him. Correct order. I'm impressed. Not bad. Every creature has vulnerabilities. That is very extreme. Okay, I'll take it. What do you got right now? Three? Yeah. We're landing every Murloc. It's classic only, so I can't, like, wish for a specific Murloc or something like that. If I play this, he's going to kill it. I think we'll just play this. And Stolen Steel. Like Valuneer looks pretty sweet. We need value. I'll take it. Alright, he finally gets his. All right, now we reset. Hat. Can change the hat into a minion. All right. That seems like a big mistake. <laughs> All right. Uh, again, sure. <laughs> this one's a little bit less attractive. Now it's just a, a big dude. So this is three. This actually works. Kind of interesting. Actually, want to do it in this order first, huh? What if it'll still give me Tyrion even though I have a weapon equipped? Maybe. One damage, oh no. We're definitely doing this. <laughs> I can copy the volume here. 
I guess that's good. Oh, I didn't copy it. What? One one copy to your hand that costs one. Game, I feel cheated. Why you do this to me? <laughs> Whatever. Okay. There's probably a mechanic there that's been updated that I'm forgetting. Probably set up some kind of lethal next turn. Not really thinking about this all too much, to be honest, just because we're so far ahead. Oh, that's kind of spooky. Is this summon or played? Played. Yeah, like <laughs> that's that's not going to help. So many options. Oh, which the, which is the one that clears the board? Oh, they they don't all full clear the board. Swipe is the best damage though. Now we bully him. Why you bully me? Oh, that's interesting. After this minion attacks, add two random healing spells to your hand that cost zero. Nice. Give all minions in your deck plus two attack. Return this to your hand. After your attacks, a minion survives. Put that minion in your hand. It's interesting. After this minion attacks is pretty win more. It's a 3-6 for three, though. 3-7 three, taunt in our deck. For three mana. It's basically like Tar Creeper with a large upside. It's not bad. If all minions in your deck plus two attack, return this to your hand. So it's a weapon that we always get to keep. We only have one other weapon in this deck. So it's not that bad. And this works off of C'Thun, which is kind of interesting. If your attacks a minion and it survives, put that minion in your hand. It's only three minions. I feel like this is better value. It's basically like true silver as well, so the stats aren't too bad. I think I'll take the Blade of the Burning Sun. It's a good infinite value option, kind of, sort of. Double battle cries. I mean, we do have a reasonable amount of battle cries in this deck now. Might not be that bad. I think these are a bit too slow. Yeah, I like this. Alright, this is our man. 300 health. So we're not going to face him down most of the time. <laughs> most of the time. And he's immune? Wow. So I assume he's playing a Murloc deck of some kind. So what's your thing? It's a lot of Murlocs. Okay. You are immune. After a Murloc dies, lose three health. Stay focused. It can't regenerate. Do what damage you can, and we will finish it off later. Okay. Well, guess we just hope to be able to do damage through immune somehow. Oh, I thought I broke the game. <laughs> it's about to be very sad. I think I want to get ramp. 
Maybe wild growth next turn. He's playing very slow. Okay. Okay, so it does actually do damage through immune. I guess I could do this, that. And I can prep for this next turn. Alright. Ooh, that's gonna die. <laughs> that must die. Scary, but okay. The fact we slowed him down is nice. This would be a good turn for AoE, but I feel like there's going to be, like, summon seven Murlocs in this deck. We have a reasonable amount of removal. Okay. I have a very reasonable amount of removal. Do I actually want to kill the zero three? He pumps out a one one Murloc every turn. Is it possible for him to run out of Murlocs? It's possible, maybe. Well, let's see what happens. I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing to continually poke him with that. Make your Cthulhu very large. I have no time for games. Yep, there it is. That's why we save this. Gimme, gimme. Okay, that's probably one of the better ones. I can take this and then flame strike him. That is not what I had in mind. Why? Flame strike? Please? Why you do this to me? I mean, I'll take Baron Geddon, but that is not the right answer. In my opinion. Whatever. I guess the perpetual AoE is not bad. I just... I feel like something like this could happen, you know? That is not the right order. Oh, no, no, no. It is the right order. Because he buffs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's five, but then he dies. This feels suboptimal. <laughs> so when any Murloc dies, a Murloc dies. So our Murlocs count as well. That's nice. I want to save this for a second, Cthune. Pretty big. I don't want to give him spells. Too spooky for me. I think I want smaller stuff, so this is fine. I'd like to get more of these if possible. 
I assume this does not work, but I should kill it before he buffs it if it does. No, it doesn't work. Did I have that? Evidently I did. Must have been what I stole. Whoa. Oh, that's Plague. Okay. It's like, what in God's name is that? We are everywhere. I noticed. I guess we just... Like, I can't even commit. I have too much stuff. <laughs> ah! <laughs> have to slow roll him. There's nothing I can do. <laughs> uh huh. Oh, you made my board better. That's awfully nice of you. He has a hero power he can't use. I like it. I guess I'll just play the seer. to keep this one if possible. I guess it's kind of hard to maintain damage though. Whatever. I'll take my one health and like it, I guess. Seems fun. Nope. Haven't seen that in a while. Good old three random murlocs. I might actually have to use my weapon this turn. <laughs> okay. Uh, the one ones pose no threat, so I'll kill everything else but them. Looks like my... It'd be nice if I could play something, I guess. So I have this active. I missed a Murloc, whatever. We did not need them. We have other more suitable champions. Oh, he's not immune. What happened? Tide on. Can finally kill him. Seems like we can actually kill him now. Oh my god. Hello. really prefer to not take that much damage. I'm gonna sadly let that live. For the time being. What is this thing? Oh, it's gone now. All right. I will never know. Taunt, give all Murlocs plus one, plus one. Okay. Oh, now we have this. That's awfully nice of him. Eh, whatever. 
pretty sure I misordered that. Yeah, I did. Okay. Whatever. Doesn't matter. It's all excessive BM. My Cthulhu is getting very large. Ooh. What's that doing in there? All Murlocs, including mine. I appreciate the additional Murloc to fuel my Murloc's energy, I guess. Sadly, have to make this trade. It's worth it for keeping that around. Okay. Still a pretty good one. <laughs> what a sad board. What a sad, sad board. My god, what is going on? Crazy huge. This gets us two damage. I think that's still correct. I'm not quite sure how that math works. Oh. Mistraded again. <laughs> I think we got this, though. I, I would be very surprised if he actually had something. Story of friendly mon- What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? What a sad man. Okay. Okay. There we go. This thing has been very helpful. Anything can happen. Do they have rush? No. Okay. Honestly, this is kind of beneficial. <laughs> Except for that one. I don't like that one. Fifteen mana. Oh. Wish I would have known that before I seen it. After a Murloc dies. So shuffle all minions into your deck after Murloc dies. Reduce the cost of this by one. Okay. Well, I'm just going to not trade then. Should hopefully keep this around. This city is ours. Uh, guess not. Oh my god. Okay. I'm sad. My immortal meaning, my immortal legion, it is gone. They took it from me. not lethal, but it's definitely the better option. This gets me two minions. I'll just settle for this and... I'll shuffle this turn. I assume. It's gonna cost seven mana, though. That 
is the scariest thing I have ever seen. A storm of scales. We will tear you apart. At least they're being nice with these random murloc summons with taunt. Uh, I mean, if he shuffles this next turn, I think we're okay, so. I think we'll just get our defensive Sylvanas out there. Razor Petal activates, but at what cost? I guess we just, we just hit here and then replay this. I don't like that attack. Too high. Really would like to draw it then. I'm assuming he's just going to shuffle this deck. Oh no, it, it resets, I see. It doesn't really matter. What do I get? Okay. It grew stronger. 15-3. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Razor Petal. I guess no hero power. I'd like to keep these if possible. I don't think I'd like to draw a second Cthulhu. I mean, it's going to be huge, but it won't be the same size. I think I'd rather just have this body now since it's so slow. Alright, you can shuffle this in, but the mana cost is very high. Alright. Shuffle all that in, whatever. Doesn't matter. That seems like not a very good idea for only two, but get lucky, I guess. <laughs> what? No. No. <laughs> no. This will be the nerfed size, so I can just... Keep playing it. Keep playing it. Yeah, whatever. You're going to shuffle this turn anyway. I know what you think. Whoa. It's Gigafin. Or Giantfin? Giantfin. Yeah, that's his name. It's been a while since we've seen him. And if you turn draw two. Game. Don't do this to me. He's on one mana because he got this guy. I think we could just go wide. And try and race him, maybe. I really would prefer him to not have that. I mean, this is this is going face, but uh, that one mana murloc guy is pretty scary. Seven face, draw Cthulhu. Might do it. He's probably gonna do twos into here, three one into that. This goes here anyway. If I take this, he can't re refill as easily. He, like, he has the mana the mana nerfing thing. I think we want to do this, just to slow him down. We only need to draw Cthulhu to win this game. It's fine. Oof. Spooky, though. Seems like somewhat bad order. Scarry got full board. 
He apparently does not go for the, uh, the reset unless he actually should, evidently. Mill. Please be bad. Okay, good. Well, kind of bad. Please give me Cthune or something. I'll take that, though. That's that's not bad. I think we want to play our Lich in here. Yeah. It's a full hand, so it doesn't get this anyway. Just a minion. Could kick Giant Fin. 17 cards left. I think we should do this, though. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Just might work. Be at 9. Oh, no, this returns back and be at 10. But I could, I could just play that, yeah. This is fine. Oh, wait, we, got, we have one less as well. Okay. can play this instead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, nine. Could hit this for the sake of him having worse trades. I don't want him to get like a worse Murloc though. Yeah. I could get something far worse from a random effect. Okay, and there's a spell sling. I actually guess another one of those. It's funny. Tot's kind of spooky. Do we finally kill Giant Finn? Looks like we do. Thank God. Just keeps milling himself. The madman. <laughs> and I can't play anything else but Murlux. I'm sorry, Cthulhu. He doesn't want me to get you. I really don't want to take any unnecessary face damage. So I'm just going to take these bad trades. In case something weird like this happens, yeah. Okay. Just give me Cthulhu. We could discover Murloc. This is potentially lethal off of it. Bluegill, I guess. Ten. It's not quite. It's probably close enough, though. Does it have a full hand? No. Alright, buddy. Do your worst. Ah, Sylvanas. Very cute. Doesn't have taunt, though. Not as good. Okay. It's only got two mana left. One mana left. Nice. 16-4 <laughs> shark. I'm sad we didn't get Cthulhu. Would have been so huge. Oh well. We got him. Very spooky. Alright. 
spell this turn has spell damage plus two as the hero power instead of I don't think that's worth it. <laughs> After hero attacks, he's still part of Prion's hand. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. It's good for the early game at least. It's still in the card, but I don't know about that late game. Do for damage shuffle a copy of this card into your deck that deals two more damage. Okay. What's this? If you played six secrets this game, your hero power becomes discovered treasure. Nice. Very interesting. Okay. He did. <laughs> 